Hello ladies and gentlemen, today, as you saw there, we do have some Mob of the, mob of the Dead, uh, excuse me there. So this is the outline of the map, it looks a bit like um, a little tiny island, and um, the actual place where this is all based is Alcatraz. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a couple of TV series based on it, but you guys can go check them out if you really, really want to. But I've got a couple of clips of the map here, I don't know if anybody else has seen this, if you have then I'm sorry for repeating, but and I've got a little couple of clips of the actual Alcatraz, um, I think it's a prison, but I'm not quite sure, yeah, it says right there, prison, prison communications, yeah, so as you can see in the bottom right hand corner is the new layout for grenades, the ammo, um, and stuff like that, and I want to just draw your attention to above, it has a little one and then a little blue thing, and it also has the name next to the point so you can tell which character you are, which is also pretty cool, I mean it would be nice to know which characters are who, and all this stuff, and also here we do have a little bit of gameplay, as you can see that little um, nuke came towards us, so I don't know whether you have to throw a knife at it, which because it had a li little knife at you, but um, yeah, so as you can see there's a little crate thing, or um, I don't know what you'd call it, a bit like a lift, a bit like on Ascension where you'd go in the lift and it would just like teleport you, but on this case it looks a bit like a zip wire um, like we've seen on um, on other maps such as Shinonuma where you had the zip line. But here as you can see it looks like a little um, plan at the start of the game which a lot of people, tend, you tend to see these now, they're like the comic strips. Um, so at the moment it has afterlife equals power, symbols always in my hair, blah blah blah, that's the symbol we saw on top of the thing at the start of the game, um, in the bottom right, so we saw that on top of the ammo which is pretty cool, as you can see on the top right as it says coming up now it says escape plan and there's a little, little um, thing there on the left, it looks a bit like a plane, but also if you watch one of the clips back it does look a bit like a riot shield a bit in the middle, so I don't know whether that's a buildable, and by the looks of things the little triangle which a Above, um, after life equals power. That looks a bit like um, if you get a quarter done or something like that. Then something I don't I don't know. Maybe something happens or uh, something. The also thing I don't quite understand is the, in the bottom left it says a cat has nine lives, which could mean that you can come back to life nine times, or it could mean that you can use the afterlife power nine times, which we are still unaware of at the moment in time due to the fact that Treyarch have not unleashed it yet. And also in this picture, as you can see, it says escape plan, step one, step two, step three, step four. Unfortunately, I can't really see it because um, I'm seeing it on a little TV, on a little screen because I'm just rendering it out now. But as you guys can see, it probably has like a little to-do list and stuff like this. But we're going to go into a bit of afterlife gameplay here. So by the looks of things, where that little triangle is in the bottom, there, that's where um, how many times you can use it or how much power you have maybe. I don't know. And you see that thing in the bottom right where it has a little arrow, not the one that you have on normal, but I think that's where your character may be. Because as you can see here, I've slowed everything down just so we can get the maximum amount of clips. But as you can see, it's above the character's name, so maybe you have to go back into your character a bit like a ghost or something like that. Which would be pretty cool, but as you can see, you can electrocute things. And um, due to the fact that there is a new boss, you can that closes down stuff. I don't know whether you have to use the afterlife power to activate stuff. It'll show you a bit in a minute. But here you can see there's a little... Um, blue ring a bit like the portal circle maybe you have to electric you have to go through them and electrocute all these things maybe to activate the easter egg or something i don't know um i'm not quite sure at the moment but as you can see there's a man talking here and i can probably but i don't know what i was going to say there but as you can see there's been two traps now and it looks pretty cool um obviously um i this is the new um what's it called this is the new Gatling gun kind of thing, so it's a mix between a Gatling gun and a rail gun, I think, I'm not quite sure, um, but I don't know what to say to you here, I'm probably just going to edit this little bit out, or, actually I'm going to leave it in, because as you can see, he's probably talking more sense than I am, I'm going to try and get the original context back in, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that, so, as you saw, it's a bit like a rail gun, Gatling gun, it looks a bit like the Olympia with a couple more shots, or sh bullet shells, um, it'd be pretty cool if it was a bit like the Olympia, but there we go, I don't think it is the Olympia, but, as you can see here, it's all upgraded and it looks pretty damn sick. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of gameplay of that. And here is the new boss. He looks a bit like George off... Um, uh, I can't think of the map. But as you can see here, he goes up to the speed cola and it goes a different colour because I think he's about to lock it down, but I'm not sure. Um, the only thing is, next to it, it does have one of those thermometer things that we've seen in the last one. So maybe you have to go next to each thing and activate it or something like that, I don't know, or maybe it's to unlock the box and things like this, because 
Um, I don't quite know. I'm going to leave a link in the description to the original gameplay and everything that they talk about, just so you guys can listen through if you really want to. But, um, but yeah, there's a boss here, and it doesn't seem to give you a max ammo at the end of the round. I mean, we haven't quite s we see him die, but we don't see anything too dramatic or. So I'm not quite sure what's going to happen with you get a max ammo or not because he's dead and you do not get a max ammo there. But there's a new perk in the game and I'm really looking forward to buying this. I think I'm probably going to buy this pick first called Electric Cherry. Every time you reload, a bit like PhD Flopper, it sends electrical bolts out you. And there's been a lot of confusion. Maybe it gets bigger if you have a better gun. I've, what I actually heard them say was um, the the more that you do it, the bigger the electric comes because you're gonna see it now. It just like electrocutes everybody around you. Um, the more that you reload or something like that, the the better it comes. So yeah, that's pretty damn cool. Um, we also have um, just a bit of gameplay here, and as always, I'm really looking forward to playing the map. There is a little dog here. I don't know where you have to feed him to get a couple of cool Easter eggs. But as always, guys, if you've enjoyed the video, if you're looking forward to it, make sure you subscribe because I will try and bring out some more using um, some more <laughs> gameplay. But when this day comes, when this comes out on the day, I am so going to be buying it. I'm so going to be playing it. So make sure you stay tuned for that if you want to see it. Peace.